Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, as many a true nerd, and welcome back to Hitman, because episode 2 has just dropped. A reminder, Hitman is, of course, episodic on this particular occasion. So, we previously had the training stuff that came out during the beta, then, of course, we had Paris itself, episode 1, and today, today, Italy, episode 2, Sapienza, which, as I understand, it, is an entirely fictitious area, there's not actually a resort or a town called Sapienza, uh, this is entirely new and invented, has come out as episode two and well very interestingly um the update for Paris in terms of like the size of the download that I had to download for Paris was about like half the size of Sapienza suggesting that Sapienza is going to be a lot bigger than Paris was so that's rather exciting just one note before we kick off by the way this is actually the PS4 version you may notice over Paris there I actually have basically no mastery because I've not done any of the Paris missions on this version uh that's because the release was kind of staggered the PC version only gets released worldwide at 9 9am Pacific time all across the world, which is only like 5pm UK time, so I never would have had time to like play through it and get a video out today, which is why I had to jump over to the PS4 version instead. But like, I'll probably do a few more videos on this, because last time I did a few videos on Hitman, I do love Hitman, and I particularly love this one, this one's fantastic. So I imagine there'll be a few more videos, but they'll probably move over to PC. So frame rate and graphics and textures and whatever may be a little bit lower than what you saw in my previous videos, and that is because we are on console. Anyway, let's dive into this. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the Jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet, fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. I'm kind of curious what Core Ideal's done is talking about there. I mean, we just take money and do a job. Is the Core Ideal of the agency that murder shouldn't be done by those damn scientists? Only bold men with barcodes should be allowed to do murder. And again, we actually get told who the client is, which is very unusual historically in the Hitman franchise. We typically never figure it out, or rather, we can figure it out by like exploring the level and carefully reading between the lines. I, again, suspect just like Paris, we're not being entirely truthful here. I think that old grey guy who we saw in the cutscenes around episode 1, I suspect he might be the client. And I suspect, yes, there's, there's something much deeper going on here than what we're being told. This wouldn't be the first time, incidentally, that Hitman has gone for an unreliable narrator and actively lying to us. For example, you may recall in Hitman Blood Money, the framing device where the guy in the wheelchair was telling us the story of how 47 died. Everything he told us was a lie. And by playing the game, we kind of realised how much he was lying to the journalist. And I think the same thing might be happening here. We're being told that the client is this, that and the other. But by piecing things together actually in the missions, we can figure out that's actually not true. I suspect that's what's going on. Anyway, time to dig in. So we've got two people to get rid of. And we've also got to destroy the virus. So that does does indeed make quite a bit of sense. I did find it a bit odd how in episode one, supposedly the client was MI6, why didn't the client want us to recover or delete the data? But all right, never mind. So this bloke, poncy bloke with a nice pink sweater wrapped around his neck, this woman who's a scientist, destroy the virus. Right, let's get into it. So, starting location, the main square. Obviously, we're very limited on inventory right now. We can take in a normal pistol or a silenced pistol. Yes, of course, we'll go for the silenced one. 
Uh, we can go for the Italian suit or signature suit, thank you. I do like the fact now there is the much more realistic 47 can show up in something appropriate to the area he's going to be in, but you can just go straight back into the signature suit if you prefer it. That's much better. Uh, now, coin and fiber wire, that's almost certainly for the best, isn't it? Yeah, that's for the best. But I'll stick a lock pick inside the large agency pickup in the ICA safe house. Oh, we're actually going to have a safe house here. Oh, that makes sense. It's going to be a little town. That's really cool. Yeah, I'll stick a lockpick here just in case I need a lockpick for something. Uh, but other than that, we'll just take in a basic pistol. But obviously, we'll try to avoid using it if at all possible. Let's get going. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. And here we are, right here. Ooh, very, very nice indeed. It's very Just Course 3, isn't it? Uh, which is, of course, was also uh, Square Enix. I wonder if that was... Uh... In any way intentional. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, it's like some sort of cross between Just Cause 3 and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Nice. So let's see what's going on here. We've got a big square right here. The massive villa in front of us. Some building out of the back. Don't know what that is. Something over to the left there. And a big building over to the right. Don't know what this is. Looks like there's a small kind of cluster of buildings and a town and so forth here. But a lot of different levels, actually. Wow, okay. So, uh, the underground laboratory, obviously, they did mention the uh, the objective. The virus is right down at the bottom. So, sooner or later, I'm going to need to go right down to the very, very bottom. There's, there's a lot of different tunnels. This reminds me a little bit of the St. Petersburg levels of uh, Hitman 2, so I'm sassing, because they had a massive network of sewers underneath them, too. And it does indeed look like there's a big number of sewers. That could be an excellent way of breaking our way into the lab if we can't go in the normal way, sneak in via the sewers. All right, fine, worth keeping in mind. Bunch of cave systems and other underground stuff, fine. Meanwhile, upstairs, there's a bunch of buildings that have, yeah, top floors, etc, etc. Now, where's our other target here? Oh no, sorry, my mistake. Our first target, so Francesca de Santos, the woman, is up on level 6. Lovely. Silvio Caruso, however, is actually on the same level as me. He's just over at the back. Looks like a rear garden of his villa. All right, well, no need to rush into the villa. Let's explore the rest of the town first. So over to the left of the villa, through this rather beautiful arch here. And oh, I really want to push you off there, whoever the hell you are. Over this way, we have got what looks just like a road into town. And ah, opportunity. You know where it is. This big mansion up in Sapienza. Rich's family on the coast. Come on, Dante, just do this for me. Those flowers have to be delivered today, and Mr. Russo is a loyal customer. If we lose his business, the boss will fire me for sure. Come on. All right, we have got ourselves. I won't try that just yet, but I might come back to it. It looks like we have got ourselves a bit of a problem, which is a flower delivery van has, well, by the looks of it, potentially struck a cyclist, and that's very unfortunate. Oh, poor old thing. Luckily, he's fine. He's fine. He's not dead. So that could be very, very useful. So, yeah, we've got kind of like um, Italian countryside, big old villa, a flower delivery van. I wonder if, like, the echoes of Anathema in Hitman 2 Science Assassin are intentional, because it feels like it kind of could be, actually. The fact that we've kind of got, yeah, so many similar things to that little mission. So I'm guessing I can deliver the flowers. That's one kind of obvious easy way in. Leaving mission area. All right, don't want to leave the mission area then. So nothing this way, aside from straight to the left of the area, we've got ourselves a nice, yep, yeah, flowers everywhere. I can pick up the flower bouquet, and there's something here. Blend it. Okay, so I can just blend in there, and there's a flower bouquet by this thing here. Right, come back to that later. Let's not rush into a solution here. Let's first just figure out what our options are. So that's over to this side. Is there something we can go through here? Unlock. Ooh. Unlock. So whatever this building is here, I could actually get my way inside if I could just get myself a key. How do I get up there in that case? I mean, there's a big archway here, which suggests I might be able to... Ooh. Ooh, hello. 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 Just don't mind me. Don't mind me. Go along here. Scale. All right. So inside this thing and this doorway here... Looks like it's probably a nice easy way into the... Where am I right now? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go around here. This looks like a nice back way into his mansion. 
Yeah, it looks to me like that bypasses the front gate right there. So nothing here. A sideway here. A brick. Good old brick. I like having a brick there. Let's just put that away for the minute. And then round the corner here. Another brick. Multiple bricks. Actually, that's not that's worth having just for the sake of having the distraction items. Well, it's not funny. I used to work inside, you know, like where it's clean. But after I accidentally turned that old antique record. I don't want to attack him. I just kind of want to pull him off. And I'm not sure if attacking him means I can just pull him straight off. Uh, in which case, he just kind of falls straight to his death. Yeah, he must have done more than just turn on a record player to be put on indefinite probation. No, I was just dusting and my elbow must have... Anyway, suddenly the record player starts playing, and Mr. Caruso comes charging in and just freaks. Someone turned a record player on. I, mean, I know he loved his mother. Everybody loves their mother, but... And it reminds him of something to do with his mother. So Can I just pull you off? Do you mind if I just do that? Fa no! Okay, and then found trespassing. Did, did you notice that? Did you mind? Oh, get away, 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 get away. I know there's an on-target kill. I don't really mind so much. He comes over to the edge. And he's confused, but not panicking. And away he goes. He never actually found the body by the looks of it. So I can use that to get myself the local gun. Put that away. No need to rush. And he didn't see the body that's down here. Lovely. So I've got myself a mansion security. Now that strikes me as a very good disguise to have. And in the meantime, you, my good friend, are getting dumped over the cliff. Oh, nice little touch of the foot there. And down here, we've got ourselves an iron gate. So if I had my lock pick, I'd be able to get into here. What's likely through here? That gets me directly underneath the mansion. Then there is a route up to the next level, which is the third floor. That looks like it gets me potentially inside the mansion, but I can't get in there just yet. But remember that's there, and I'm now dressed as mansion security. Very, very useful. So as mansion security, who does or does not recognise me? It looks like at least some folks will recognise me who are dotted about, including, of note... Uh, whichever one of the two targets that is can see through this disguise. Fine. One guy up top there does. Yeah, one target does, but not the other target. And that person, whoever that person is, cannot. Fine, interesting. So we can at least, we can walk around a little bit openly like this. Just got to be ready to run if I have to. Two guys at the front door cannot see through a basic mansion security outfit. So now we are inside right here. The flowers might actually be a good idea. The reason the flowers might actually be quite sensible is because... Oh, security camera. Be aware of security camera right there. Okay, so I've been hit by a security camera, but that's fine. I'm just exploring. This isn't urgent in the slightest. We've got ourselves a swipe card. Okay, oh, and we've got ourselves a thing over here. Good for nothing deadbeat loser. What am I learning here? So apparently the chef has hired a new kitchen hand by staff recommendation the two have yet to meet. Okay, so that's a good way to get into the kitchen. That's what that opportunity was. But a swipe card means I can't get in the sideway. If I got a swipe card, I would be able to get in the sideway. Over to the right of the mansion, I can get up onto a rooftop up here. Okay, so another way in would be to get up to the rooftops and then drop off, but I'm now trespassing. I'm not sure why I'm trespassing. I do work for this place. Right, side door here. And we got ourselves a way into the mansion right now, including a way downstairs. And obviously we're down here in like the under bits, the kitchen. No one... Ah! Mansion keycard. Right, mansion keycard, very, very usefully is right down here from the side entrance. You don't recognise me, do you? No, you're kitchen staff. Don't need to worry about you. I'm just going to make sure nobody's going to recognise me. If I could find some rat poison, that's always a good starting point because everyone loves taking a drink from some rat poison. Got ourselves a changing room. Changing room including mansion staff. Now that could be just the thing. Mansion staff, uh, who's going to recognise mansion staff? Uh, few people, but not a desperately large number. Anything else good around here? Place I can hide in there or indeed stash a body. 
and then out of here I can take the steps. Ah, this is the car right here. You guys don't recognize me, do you? No, I'm absolutely fine here. So that's kind of like the first little entrance over on the right there. But you know what, let's not rush to explore the mansion too much. Oh, he's got a nice car by which, well, it, it's kind of nice. It's conceptually nice. I don't agree with this ridiculous, silly pattern on the back. That's just a bit weird. We've got a whole bunch of people who would recognize me in the mansion. But it looks like I'm safe from that guy who was overlooking the area before. He won't recognize staff. He just recognizes guards. All right. Now, I think we've kind of skirted around the outside of the mansion enough for now. Let's just kind of head out of here. Excuse me, lads. Don't mind me. And we can explore the rest of the level to figure out what else is going on. Ooh, water effects. Water effects in this game are very, very nice indeed. It does do very, very good water. So we've got this absolutely massive church thing here. Including this really nice little restaurant doorway over there. Hello. We're just gonna be we're just gonna be exploring today, by the way. This is what is this? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you didn't see me for all that hair. And then what, wait, what is this? So back here, couple of bathrooms, little bit of interesting little lore there. Oh, hello. Hello, what was this? Pick up a coin. Y'all have some coins. Do you mind if I just help myself to these? No, I'm just allowed to help myself to these. More coins is always welcome. Beautiful. Up to uh, six coins now. So the back of here, this leads up. Where on earth am I going? I felt like I was going underneath a big old church here. No, I'm not sure where I'm actually going. It's just a little... Oh, it's just a little walkway. Just a little walkway up to the top here. Fine. So that's just a little underground walkway, including some toilets. Good place for some stashing some bodies. And that brings me up top. Right in front of this big old building here. Actually, it's not entirely a church. Just like, ooh. Ooh, hello, hello. Dr. Lafayette. Just so. I'm outside Villa Caruso now, enjoying the coffee and the sun. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Mm, very well. Don't you worry. Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio call him serene in no time. And you as well. Gynophobia, a fear of women. Interesting. So we got ourselves a psychologist here, starting up on the little balcony overlooking the mansion. Might be able to follow him, get his disguise, and infiltrate the mansion as the psychologist, if I could just lure him somewhere out of the way. Blimey, this does feel a lot bigger. A lot kind of bigger and more open than uh, than Paris. It's lovely. Now, arguably, the psychologist could be one of the best little ways to infiltrate. Nobody knows what he looks like because he's all on his own. He's a unique class. He's the psychologist. There's no other psychologist who would recognise him. Obviously, we are fully aware... Ooh. You're about to go somewhere by some chance. Is where you're about to go by any chance like a bathroom or something? If you'd like to go to a bathroom, uh, that would be just perfect. And he's just going to go then. Uh, we'll come back to him later. Should rent a space, do my next book here. You should, you absolutely should. Into the ice cream shop. What's in the ice cream shop? I disguise myself as an ice cream person. Oh my goodness. It like there is actually a proper little back area to the ice cream shop. Please tell me that I can just do that. That would be the best thing. Am I, I assume I'm not allowed to go in here. Um, I'm not, I'm not staff, am I? No, 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 don't mind, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go now. Bye. It's fine, as long as you get out of the way pretty quick, they don't really mind that much. So we've got an ice cream shop with a little back area here that looks like it might well lead somewhere useful, that's cool. Ooh, I think you are part of the ice cream shop staff. Okay, and this door does indeed open. Un wait, unlock the door? How do I unlock the door? Oh! With a crowbar. That's probably not the way to unlock the door. Let's not unlock the door. And then behind this big old building thing, we've actually got some back streets. Uh, does this open up? This does open up. But again, you've... Oh, I've been recorded by a security camera. And I'd need to either have the key or otherwise break into that door. And to go in that door, you do actually have to get recorded. So that's potentially a bit of a risky way in. Anything back here? Or is this just a good place to... Ooh. This could be a good one right here. So another locked door. This looks pretty much like it's on its own. Yeah, let's just unlock this door. And when I say unlock this door, I mean break and enter. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, run, 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 run. Crime noticed. Oh, dear. I'm currently being hunted by the elite troops of the flipping ice cream parlor. Excellent. Yeah, it appears at least one member of the ice cream parlor staff is indeed armed with a flipping gun. They take the security of this ice cream parlor seriously. 
Just to get the heat off me, I very quickly reset here, so we are back to being completely fresh and uh, unrecognised. But yeah, it looks like the only thing round here are various entrances to this very big old church here. But interestingly, there's... hang on, there was a security... Okay, there's a security camera right here that would see me opening up this door that I'm guessing is yet another way to break into this area, because it looks like there's a little bit of a... yeah, a bit of a bridge there. I'm guessing go in here... Go up some stairs, unless there's more stairs. No, that's that's back down to where I was before. All right, fine. And then we enter a world of back streets because there's loads, just little streets. Yeah, this is a this feels like it's a way bigger level than the previous one. Right, let's stick to the front street just for the moment here. So we've got yeah, that meets up there. Oh. Relax. It's all good. I put some pants on. Rocco, I recommended you to Chef Marcello personally. If he's unhappy with you, I'll get the blame. I could get fired. Is that what you want? Oh, please. Like, you want to wait on that weirdo Caruso for the rest of your life? Come on, you gotta think big, sis. Yes. Ah, okay, so this time I've got this opportunity unveiled a little bit more clearly. So she works here. She recommended her brother to join the kitchen staff. He's not taking it seriously. I could potentially go and grab a uniform of him. I'm guessing, therefore, there'll be kitchen staff up in his apartment if I can just get up into his apartment. Lovely. And his door is actually... Oh, oh, sorry, don't mind me. Do you live here? Is this where you live? Because this is where I live now. Yes, out of the way, please. Well, apparently I'm not trespassing, so that's good. There must be multiple apartments in here. Right, let's go and find that bloke. Oh, wait, I've just flipping stumbled across the ICA safe house. Lovely. So this is my apartment right here up that staircase just to the right of the mansion. Perfect. So this here is, yes, this is my safe house. Good. Ah, and that means I flipping get my uh, lockpick. Lockpick. Beautiful. Right, that's useful. So it looks at my apartment that uh, the flipping they gave me. They gave me a nice apartment with... Ooh. Oh. So my safe house leads right up out onto the roof. And the roof in question is actually leads right down into the thing. Okay, so you could go through your safe house, which you start off with the key for... And hop straight down, and that's the door into the back area, like the kitchen. So you can get yourself a staff uniform incredibly quickly just by cutting through your own apartment. Very, very nice indeed. Lovely. You also grab yourself a kitchen knife here. That's nice and convenient. Because it just feels like um these is ooh explosive golf ball. Yoink! I'll gladly have one of those. Yes. Excellent, so they've just left me an explosive golf ball. Why do you get the feeling that, yes, yeah, with golf, with flower vans, it really feels like there's a bit of a kind of an intentional nod back to Anathema here in Hitman 2 Sand Assassin, which is very, very welcome. Anathema is one of the, well, to my mind, one of the best missions in Hitman 2 Sand Assassin. Good! Got some good stuff there. But yeah, like, things like, even like kitchen knives, it kind of feels like everyone's allowed to just carry a knife, if you want to, because it doesn't say visibly armed. Like, even things that are theoretically weapons you just seem to be allowed to wear these days but anyway we want to go up another floor to find that bloke don't we because he i think is a freebie yeah it will be this guy right here so if we were to oh can we actually uh ring the bell Ooh! but first unlock presumably i can't unlock the door Oh, now I've got my lock pick oh yes i can and i'm slightly glitching through the door there but it's fine Right. Door's now open. He's out on the balcony. I can see him there. And he's not planning to probably come and do anything. No one else is out here. What I'm going to do, therefore, is we're going to have a coin over into that corner. And then we're just going to get him. Bloody genius me. Oh, have I just flipping lured him into the... What if I just lured him? Where's he going? Did that just, did that just go through? I don't know. Ooh, and get him down, get him down. Yep, fine, done. Trespassing, don't need to break his neck. He didn't see me, so I'm not compromised. Beautiful. So, we could uh, drag him somewhere convenient. I am trespassing right now, but here we are. Kitchen assistant. So there's a free disguise in this guy's apartment. In fact, actually, I could have just left him. I would, didn't even need to actually uh, bother um, knocking him unconscious, because he just stands outside on the balcony here. I'm guessing his sister... <laughs> 
wherever she is, will be able to recognise him. Uh, but I can't see her on the map right now. Yeah, there's, there she is. Alright, so there's probably at least one person on the map who can recognise this guy. Uh, and that's his sister. Ooh, mansion keycard. Oh, this is a really good place to go in that case. So you've got a mansion keycard and a uh, and a kind of a uniform that's a bit different to the mansion staff. So I'm not sure like if it's a bit rarer. Ah, and a key for this apartment. I really feel like you don't need that at this point. Oh, he was playing Hitman Sniper Challenge. <laughs> Ah, uh, fair enough. It's actually a good game. I actually enjoyed Hitman Sniper Challenge. I actually played Hitman Sniper Challenge just before the new Hitman came out. It's a good game. Genuinely, it's very, very good indeed. So again, you can drop down onto uh, the roof and then kind of get into the mansion nice and easily. He's got a nice little apartment, actually. Nice and spacious. Kind of a nice wraparound balcony. Very, very cool. So this here feels like a good starting point for uh, stuff that I need. Am I... Oh, sorry. I thought I was opening the fridge there. No, I'm not opening the fridge. That's fine. So this here, yeah, feels like a good starting point. Because I feel like this is probably a less common disguise than the mansion staff. So I'm guessing fewer people are going to recognise me. Though as it's my first day, I might still be frisked. I'm not sure. There was also a bell. I'm not sure what happens if you ring the bell, but that's interesting. Let's go out here. Just keep an eye. Yeah, no one's, no one's suspicious. No one recognises me. Let's just check if this actually gets me past the front gate before I explore the rest of it. It's really big! Oh, I love it. There's so much to explore. There's so much to explore. Yeah, those guys would let me right in, but would I need to undergo a frisk? Move on to the kitchen, sir. Frisk zone, sir. If I want to come through, I want to get frisked. Um, I would do, but there is a mansion key card right in this guy's apartment, so I don't need to bother. I can just go this way. But this way, be careful of his sister who would recognise you. Well, let's go into the town. Let's go into the town and explore the town a little bit more first. Uh, we got ourselves a nice nightwear and lingerie shop. So wait, I could disguise myself as his girlfriend. That would probably not work. You can kind of tell which doors open and don't open from the mini-map. So you can kind of know straight away. Ooh, we've got ourselves uh, some form of intelligence here. Let's just go in here and listen to this. was back in town. Ah, do I detect a certain attraction to the dashing private detective from Milan? Oh, what of it? He's cute. Actually, uh, well, I really shouldn't tell you this, but he's here about a case. The client is Francesca DeSantis. You know, the, the female doctor that's staying at uh, Villa Caruso. Really? wonder what she wants with a snoop. Well, well you didn't hear it from me, okay? Where'd you see him, anyway? A couple of streets over, sleeping on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Sal for you. Always was a Nighthawk. Alright, so somewhere in the world we've got ourselves a detective who the female target actually wanted to speak to. So that's nice. Okay, good bit of information there. Once more, we're just learning about all the different opportunities. And down this end of the map, we've got ourselves... Ooh. A big open space. including like, Ooh, a beach! There's a beach! Ooh, <gasps> floaty thing, floaty thing, floaty thing, floaty thing, floaty thing, floaty thing, floaty thing. No, I can't get to the floaty thing because there's an invisible barrier in front of the sea. No, I can't play with this crocodile. This is the saddest thing. Oh, this is cute. In a clothing store right by uh, the waterfront, there is indeed a sanguine store right here. From, uh, yeah, the same fashion able that was in episode one. That is very cute indeed. Though admittedly nothing quite as flamboyant as we actually saw in the fashion show, but a very similar colour scheme. With the kind of the, the black into blue into uh, into white, kind of that kind of icy colour scheme. So not quite as flamboyant as it was on the catwalk. But yeah, you can actually see it's a similar fashion design. That's really cool. And again, a whole bunch of shops that are currently locked up. But with the lockpick, if no one was looking, I could actually break into. But uh, probably not. Wait, what? How can you recognise me? Ooh, your kitchen staff. I should probably get out of here before you actually recognise me. Can I? Wait, what is this building? What's this building over here? Can I... Ooh. Swipe key card. I've got a key card. What on earth have I just stumbled across here? I've just found a locked door. Okay, so the way I've just come is I went round the street here. This here is like the seafront. And then up on the left, there is a key card reader that gets you into the back of the kitchen. So I'm actually in the back of the kitchens right now. Uh, so yeah, so we're back into the mansions. So that's another alternative way into the mansion there. Beautiful. So yeah, that key card you get off that bloke is very, very useful indeed. But let's turn our attention to the big other massive set piece What's beautiful building in this area, which is... Right, oh, hello. What have we got here? Oh! We've got like a little performance artist thing happening here. That's cool. And he's got... Oh! The performance artist takes a drink. 
poison the drink, he'll go be sick somewhere, and we have got ourselves a ridiculously flamboyant, presumably completely bloody... I mean, this guy can't have access anywhere. All right, fine. That's nice to know that that's there. Number seven, this building is apparently open too. Beautiful. So we've got another open building by... Uh, yeah, another open building here. He's going to explore all the buildings, because so some of them might just have good sniper spots here. Ah, I found one! I found one of the inflatable crocodiles! Yes! Perfect! Now get the, get the, get the... Let's see if it pops. Can we make it pop? Throw a knife into the crocodile. Okay, that is not enough to pop it. It's quite strong. Get the silenced gum. Yes, it pops! Yes! I'm so happy. It has a lovely little pop animation. That's the best thing. Now, kind of, but notice this apartment building doesn't actually have any apartments in it. It's just got various kind of cut-throughs and whatever. So, yeah, nice little balcony up here. This would be a good little spot for sniping someone, potentially. And then we've got... Ooh, what have we got this? Is there anyone through here? What's this building? Can we get to... Yeah, just lockpick this nice and quick, nice and quick. Surely no one can see me when I'm up here. Don't bother ringing the bell. No, no, no. Open. Open. Hide down here. Doesn't look like there's anyone in here. What have we got? Ooh! This is, an, this is clearly the apartment of, uh, yeah, one of the bodyguards. It's got the, uh, the bodyguard guns in it. Let's just quickly explore this guy's apartment. Get ourselves a combat knife! Now that, for some reason, yeah, the kitchen knife doesn't count as visibly armed. Combat knife does. Another mansion keycard up in this apartment. Very, very nice indeed. Ah, and that apartment brings us right back to our own apartment and the back way into the mansion right there. I see. This is interesting, actually. I missed this. A florist's. What's important in the florist? Ah! A bouquet. Ah! And I'm guessing this, I'm pretty sure that there, is the same, um, the same name that was on the van. So taking the bouquet from the van won't be enough, because I wouldn't be dressed as a florist. I'd have to kill that guy. But if I wanted to not kill that guy, it looks to me like I'm guessing that there is the florist uniform and a bouquet. So to get into the mansion right there, we've got those two things. Now that could be a very good way in. And then finally, we've got all these little kind of back streets, including one guy who apparently would recognise me, presumably a member of the kitchen staff, therefore, or just a very alert security guy. Just a little network of tunnels and whatnot. Ah, uh, found something good here. So right outside the church, right down by the bottom by the waterfront, in this little apartment here, we've got ourselves a new disguise. A gardener. Now that strikes me as a good sort of thing to be. Sneak into the gardens nice and easy. Good, good, good. Anything else useful here? Oh, flip. Oh, no, no. I'm only... It's only ever... I'd say, no, this is a terrible disguise. No, it's only a terrible disguise. Obviously, I'm currently... Yes! Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Where's my silenced gun? Get it. Screw you. There we go. I hate those things. I'm sorry, I don't know why I like popping those things. It brings me such joy. I should have brought a silent sniper rifle just so I could pop that one in the ocean that I can't get to otherwise. This building also mysteriously looks like it has a basement. Is it supposed to have a basement? Oh. Tunnel. Tunnel system. Okay. This building is very, very important because this has a tunnel system right here. Now, who exactly are you that's guarding the tunnel system, and where am I? Okay, so, easiest way to access the tunnel system that looks like it actually leads somewhere potentially quite useful, given it's on the same flipping level as, uh, yeah, the cure itself, could well be to go in uh, via the little apartment building that's right by the church, and then just head straight down. You'll need to potentially kill someone to get out of it, but then could be a good way of getting inside various buildings. Let's leave this for now. I can't explore everything in one go. So we'll leave that for the moment, but remember that's there. Uh, the building in question is this one right here. So the church is right here, and then it's that door right there. It's just open. You don't even need to unlock it or anything. Though, interestingly, that guy there apparently can see through everyone. Okay. Oh, when I get there, they tell me I don't have access. The morgue's been locked down. Why has the morgue been locked down? Hello? So, the morgue, which I'm guessing is this little building here, guarded by someone very, very special indeed. Am I allowed to go through here, or is this trespassing? Oh, there's a gardener here. Ah, one of the gardeners who would indeed... Everyone's recognising me around here. Right. Gotta be a little bit careful, mind you. Who are you, then? 
You're the security guard. You won't recognize me. Various... Oh, 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 oh. I just got out of dodge there. Okay. Basically, round here, everyone bloody recognizes a gardener. This is not necessarily a good disguise. The priest of the church will realize I'm not a gardener? How on earth is he going to do that? Well, we can get the church key here. That's good. Just walk in and grab that nice and easy. And some scissors as well. Beautiful. Yep, here we are. Good old gardeners, gardener away, and then, ooh, hello. What's through here? Oh, oh, no, no, not, not through there. Not through there. Not through there. There's someone there who should, that's, that's a bad person. And conveniently, indeed, we can make it up to the top of the church with nothing else. <gasps> if I had a wrench, you can drop the bell. Oh, my goodness, who on to? Who's actually downstairs? I don't know why exactly you want to drop the bell, but you can. Excellent. So, oh yeah, this is a nice little view of the whole area, isn't it? I mean, much of it isn't actually interactive. Basically, like, if you kind of draw a line in your mind between, like, that tower over there and, like, the corner here, that's pretty much all that's there. But it's still a pretty damn big area. And I'll tell you what, this area here gives you a damn good sniping shot at a hell of a lot of people over there. There's one of our targets right bloody there. Yeah. All right, that, that there... Feels like a very good shot indeed. Right, you know what? That's enough scouting out for now. I think it's time to actually start trying some stuff here. Crowbar. I think I've already got a crowbar, but all right. And I needed a wrench. Needed a wrench to make the bell drop and murder whoever the hell's underneath here. Yeah, it's directly underneath here. So somebody presumably passes straight under this area and can get splattered by the bell, which I approve of because it kind of opens up all sorts of for who the bell tolls jokes. All right, I think I know where I want my plan to start, which is we're going to go for florist. So there's the florist here, where if I can just crack my way in without anyone seeing me, then we have got ourselves what looks like a florist uniform and some actual flowers, okay? So the question is which door is going to be the best to open up. This looks a little bit too exposed. This woman, ah, that woman's wandered off. This could be just, if she doesn't see this, I'm not sure if she's going to see that. I think I might be hidden from her. Let's give it a go. Yeah, unlock with the lockpick. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Now, they're searching, but they're not suspicious. If I just do a little bit of a loop, I think they'll lose interest. And that there is what these lovely little side streets are very, very good at. I can just loop around the outside. And presumably... Where's the person who's suspicious of me? I think he'll lose interest. Yeah. Before he actually is able to find me. And he's given up. And mysteriously he doesn't remember you. Uh, which is interesting. Yeah, The moment the alert's done. The alert is actually done. And now I'm guessing. This should actually be. Oh please tell me she didn't just relock that. No she didn't. Wait hang on. Did she just cut through? I think she just cut straight through. Right okay. Get in here. <gasps> Delivery man. Yes. Right. Change. Special delivery. Special delivery indeed. Pick up the flower bouquet. Now, am I allowed to hide a gun inside the bouquet? Because you used to be allowed to do that. I'm just not sure if that's actually allowed. Uh, okay, and I've also got a shovel and a gardener. So, oh, but hang on. Put this put this back down for a sec. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't an option. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going to get frisked. So, probably what we should do is we should find a nice place to stash my guns before we go any further. Ooh, I tell you what no one ever uses in the entirety of the history of uh, Hitman. No one ever actually uses toilets. Because if someone actually ever used a toilet, it would mean you wouldn't be allowed to. They're just a place to stash bodies. So we can just put this down here. So hang on, just drop the drop the flowers for a second. I'm holding the flowers. Drop the flowers. Drop the flowers. D I sheath the flowers, but you can't drop them. That's intriguing. Now everything that's a weapon needs to go. Right. I think now everything else, if I'm like holding it, it doesn't send visibly armed. If I'm not visibly armed, I'm allowed to have it, right? Because it's not a weapon. So I'm allowed to just go into the mansion with a crowbar, some Dr. Popper, some kitchen knives, uh, coins, a golf ball, a lock pick, the bouquet and some scissors and a fibre wire. All of that is all absolutely fine, or at least I'm pretty sure it should be. Hopefully these guys won't actually see any of this stuff, right? Hopefully. Close the door. Yes, okay, we're good. Get the bouquet, head to the front door, accept frisking, this should be fine. So, I'm accepting the frisk. Come over here and accept frisking. Are you nervous? 
Oh, don't be. This is just a formality. Don't mind me. That's just my crowbar. Those are my scissors. Uh, that's just my Dr. Popper. Can't be serious. That, that's just asking for trouble. What? Wait, what? Think about running away. What was I not allowed? Hang on. What was I not allowed to have in that case? I'm not sure what it is they actually just saw. Huh. All right. Hang on. Okay, let's just go through the stuff that I am actually allowed to be holding. But okay, so kitchen knife. Oh, I wasn't allowed to hold a kitchen knife. Oh, maybe they are situational. I thought I was allowed to. All right, so that crowbar. Okay, everyone was suspicious for a second when I had the knife. But the crowbar they appeared to be fine with. How about the scissors? Are you fine with me holding scissors? Yes, everyone's fine with me holding scissors. I think it's the kitchen knife that they minded. Okay, and then, oh, well, in that case, I'll have the scissors. They're a good, like, proper throwable and stuff. Yeah, and it goes. Uh, anything else you're suspicious of me with? No, you're not suspicious of the golf ball. You're not suspicious of the Dr. Popper. Okay, I think we're good now. Hopefully, anyway. Get the flower bouquet back out. Now I've dropped the kitchen knife. I think I might be able to pass the frisking. Because the crowbar's not a weapon, but the knife is. Is that acceptable, guys? It's just standard procedure. We're all friends here. And do you okay with my crowbar? Yeah, that's my crowbar in there. Green light. Go ahead, sir. Nice. Been a month already, huh? Been a month already. Okay, so he gets monthly flowers to put on his mother's grave. The question now is where the hell do I take these things? Because <laughs> I've no bloody clue. Oh, dear. This is probably a good instance where uh, I will use the, the mid-level opportunity. You can turn them off, you can turn them on fully where it actually like guides you step by step, or you can put them into medium where it tells you what you need to do next, but doesn't actually tell you where or how to do it, which I quite like. Actually, lads, never mind, I'll be right back. Apparently I need to listen to him to actually begin tracking. Never mind, oops. All right, there we are. I've actually started there, so now my next objective is to speak to the mansion's butler, but I don't know who the butler is because I've got this set to minimum. Oh no, sorry, I have to get frisked again. I'm happy to get frisked a second time, it's fine. Is that a crowbar or are you just please? Oh, it's a crowbar. All right, fine. Go ahead then. Now, I need to find the mansion's butler. I'm guessing that's going to be not too difficult to locate. He'll probably be dressed very distinctively. And as I suspected, basically no one can wreck. Ah, you will hey, be the mansion's butler. Hello. Flowers for Mr. Caruso. Ah, excellent. You can leave them on Mrs. Caruso's grave in the garden. Come along, I'll show you the way. Is that the traditional way that putting flowers on a grave works? The Such bloke who actually stuff. delivers the flowers from Eurosped actually puts them on the grave? Surely the whole point would be I'd give them to Mr. Crusoe, or I'd give them to you, you'd pass them on to Mr. Crusoe, and he would put the flowers on the grave. Like, it seems odd that you'd ask the delivery man to put the flowers on the grave, but never mind. Ooh. This is, uh, I like the big high ceilinged rooms. That's gorgeous. Now, interestingly, there are female members of staff here. I was expecting an all-male household because the psychologist mentioned gynophobia, uh, a fear or a hatred of women, distinct from misogyny because misogyny is just kind of like a, a hatred, whereas gynophobia is like a psychological fear for some reason. So, interesting. So, he's leading me outside here into the garden towards wherever the graves are. And then, again, nobody is actually recognising me here. And we're going out towards, ah, big old thing here. Now, where am I now on the map? Just so I know my orientation. Hang on. Ah, okay. So we're towards the rear left of the mansion as we start from the area. So we've kind of cut through the mansion and then gone out the back here. But of course, there's this big old building at the back we haven't been to yet. That's the one area we haven't really been to. So, and that's presumably that thing right there. So, down the stairs, near the cliff. You can't miss it. I will inform Senor Caruso. He will be pleased, no doubt. Yes, I will- You're gonna text him! Did you just text your boss that the delivery man from Eurosped is putting flowers on his mother's- Bloody hell. This is weird. So place the flowers on Isabel Caruso's grave. And here it is, right here. Conveniently, very, very close by to- Yes, this thing over here, this big old structure, whatever the hell this is for exactly. So we can now place the flowers on the grave. And we've infiltrated this area nicely. That is the good son and apparently has kept Caruso distracted. I get myself a screwdriver, nice. Get myself a hammer, nice. So lots of tools by doing this method, which is welcome. 
And now, presumably, I'm not allowed to go anywhere, but I could just, like, leave again. Or now I've got basically access to a large part of the rest of the mansion, including a lot of stuff around here. Perfect. Right, time to investigate this big old building over here and figure out if I'm allowed to go here. Because uh, we've got... What have we got down here? I've got a shovel. Shovel including... Oh, am I allowed to go down to the beach? Would I be allowed to go down to the beach? Am I allowed to go cl climb down, climb down, climb down? Nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. There you go. So yeah, I can go down here. What's down this path? Quickly, 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 quickly drop down. Then, oh. Hello, 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 And you're subdued. Subdued, 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 subdued. I've been recorded on a security camera subduing someone. That's gotta be bad. That non-target killed. Was he? I didn't think he was. Oh, wait, hang on. What's the... Oh, oh, he's come to the grave. He's come to the flipping grave. Get the bodyguard disguise. Get the bodyguard disguise. Am I still on security camera? I think I just changed into this disguise on security camera. Excellent. Right, okay. How suspicious are you all? Uh, not suspicious at all by the looks of it. Up, 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 yep. Up, 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 yep. And then, oh. Silvio Caruso. Yes. This is perfect right here. And apparently he can't... Oh, he will be able to see through this disguise. All right, let's see if we can get him right now. Okay, what's going to be the best way to deal with him? I mean, the question is, can those... I mean, those guards presumably can see him, right? If I throw a coin way over there, would that lure him out of the way of their... Actually, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that... Okay. Those guys are suspicious. They definitely can see me. Oh, I wonder if I can put someone inside this thing. Could I mulch a guard? That'd be good. Let's just give it a go. Let's just garrot him and see if anyone sees it. And get him straight in the box. 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 Nice! Next up. Francesca DeSantis. Beautiful. Piano Man challenge. And one of the guys is dead and straight into this convenient box. Okay, so the flower delivery is a very, very... Challenge complete the genius. I distinctly feel like the genius, given the thumbnail was golfing, would have something to do with... Apparently, literally everyone can see through this disguise. This is a bad disguise. I should get out of here while using this disguise as quick. Right, let's get down... Back down to the bottom as quickly as possible. Back down to the bottom, because the other target's a scientist. So if I can get down to the bottom, that's probably a good idea, right? If I, I don't know why this disguise is so bloody worthless. Everyone seems to be able to see through it. Uh, pass the security camera again. And, ah, oh, swipe card. Darn. Uh, did you not have an unswipe card on you? No, you used to have a gun, which is not very useful. But no, wait, how did you get out here? I don't know how this guy managed to get out of here if he doesn't have the card to actually get in. But, all right, fine. Ooh, nice little water effects there. Very nice. Uh, okay, so, wait, where are we going? Where's this? Oh, is this back round to the... I think I know where I'm going now. This is the very outskirts of... Um, yeah, this is the outskirts of the level that leads round to the church. Yeah, there's the church there. Okay. So, actually, you can sneak in the back of the mansion by going along this path from the jetty. All right, that's good. Well, we've got ourselves a good first step, I'd say, there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first target is dead, but as we have not even begun scouting out the second target, never mind even the virus and the biological weapon, I'm going to have to split this video into two because this is one hell of a big mission in the end, but I've really wanted to kind of show a bunch of stuff off. So yes, there is a lot of stuff here and I feel like I'm barely even going to scratch the surface across two videos. So uh, second part will either come out late tonight if I can do it quickly enough, I don't know, or it will come out early tomorrow. If it's early tomorrow, it'll be part of a kind of a big triple build tomorrow because tomorrow we'll have an early episode uh, with the rest of Sapienza. Then I'm doing the podcast with Dan on Twitch. That is tomorrow. And then I've got something special planned for tomorrow at 10 p.m. UK time after the podcast is done or 11, depending on how long the podcasts go. Sometimes we decide that's going to be three hours rather than two. Anyway, after that, there will be something special as well. So more Hitman to come soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather special Hitman episode two, Sapienza. Thank you very much and goodbye. Just got to weaken the base of this a little bit more. Yes! Yes! Good news, I'm protecting you! Alex Mason, the man who can literally run as fast as a speeding truck. This game is basically just badasses don't look at explosions the game, isn't it? Oh! Ho, 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 ho.